So I wanted to do a first video about how my first two weeks have gone as a new mom. Um, let's call them hell weeks, uh, also because I'm breastfeeding. So I would suggest to do that if you can. Uh, just keep trying because it freaking hurts the first two weeks. They say it's not going to hurt, but that's not true. So uh, I went ahead and just kept at it, kept at it. It was hard uh, until I could figure out, you know, what type of things were upsetting her, which took about two weeks. So today she's a couple days older than two weeks. And uh, it's like I can tell most of the time she's not hungry. She's overtired. So now I'm not stuck breastfeeding 18 hours a day with her tugging on my nipples because that hurts. Um, but I wouldn't trade those little snuggles for the world. And I wouldn't trade the fact that she wants me most of the time because it feels good, especially at the beginning. Um, we had a little colic. It seemed like starting, but once we figured out that she's just real tired or overstimulated, which newborns are really easy to overstimulate, uh, you know, certain adults are easy to overstimulate and this this little child just came from the womb where there was no world. There was nothing but like dark and sometimes a little light. Um, she didn't have to eat on her own. She didn't have to feel hungry. She didn't have to feel gassy. And it's a lot to get used to as a newborn. Just as much so as a mom. Like, There's a few things that I had hoped to do that didn't end up happening. Like... Um, she does sleep in our bed a lot and that was a plan not to do but um, during the first two weeks I decided to you know breastfeed on demand and um, be there on demand all the time I'm not teaching her to train herself to sleep or any of that stuff without me until I feel like we've built a bond and we trust each other so hopefully that will work uh, I don't necessarily know, but I've been following my instincts instead of all the blogs. You know, I know the info. I'm educated on how I'm supposed to take care of a newborn. I completed, you know, parenting classes my whole pregnancy just so I would know what what I need to know. And um, it almost felt like information overload the first two weeks. So I stopped doing necessarily everything that didn't feel right. And... Um, I think that was a good thing because we're much happier and I had a bit, bit of postpartum anxiety. I'm a natural, naturally anxious person and um, so I just started doing what I thought and some of that anxiety kind of went away. I just started doing what I believed in and what I believed was right for us. So I'm sure people will disagree but I'm enjoying being an instinctual mom letting my almost instincts and our bond grow now that she's outside of me because if you start doing all that you know you stay over here and I'm gonna stay over here and you learn how to calm yourself I don't know how she would subconsciously learn to trust me and I want that to carry on into her toddler years that she trusts me uh, and I feel like doing that in the beginning means it'll be unbreakable I might be wrong. I'm not a parenting expert, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll get to that later. But um, it's it's hard to trust yourself as a new mom. And so if you practice, I feel like that's how you gain confidence is just practicing what you know and accepting that you probably don't always know like the right answer, but there isn't one. Each person is unique, you know. Everyone wants uh, to be treated the way that they need to be treated. And so I think we need to do that for our children as well because they want that too. And they also want to be close to us even if we are disciplinarians, even if this, that, or the other. They do want a good relationship with us. And I feel like that starts in the first couple months. Um, so moving forward... Hopefully, 
you know, we're over the humps for breastfeeding. We're over the two hell weeks for breastfeeding and learning about my baby. And um, I feel confident. Surprise. Not sad. Not scared. And I also live across the country from my family. So I'm kind of doing it alone with my husband. And God, do I appreciate him more than anything. Um, because he didn't ha make my anxiety worse in the first couple days. Um, thank God for that. He's always been my rock. So hopefully that's the same case for you and your father of your children also. Um, so anyway... That's a small update on the two weeks. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some more videos uh, in the next couple weeks so that you guys will be able to see me and learn from me if you want. <laughs> so y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe and like. Bye-bye. <laughs>